Henry de Toulouse-Lautrec was born on November 24, 1864, in southern France. He was the last in a line of aristocratic family whose lineage stretches all the way back to the Crusades. His parents divorced after they lost Henry's younger brother. His mother became devoted to Henry. Lautrec was a weak child and had spent most of his life being spent in a bed because his body was very weak. In his isolation, due to his weak body, he discovered he had an ability to draw. His favorite subject to draw was horses. Due to his fragile body and minor falls, his legs were fractured and failed to heal properly. Now moving on to the first art piece, La Gole is a poster that Henry made for the famous nighttime lounge. It is a color lithograph from 1891, probably printed in about 3,000 copies, advertising the famous dancers of La Gole and uh, No Bones Valentine. And the new Paris dance hall, Molin Rogue, La Gole is a bold four-color lithograph depicting the famous can-can dancer, La Gole, and her flexible partner, uh, Valentine, Le Dossese, made to advertise the popular French club, Moulin Rogue. Their audience is reduced to silhouettes in order to focus attention on the performers and evoke the Japanese art uh, then in vogue. The triple repetition of the club's name draws the focus down to the central figure of the poster, La Gole herself, the stark white of her petticoats depicted with just a few lines on the white paper, epitomizes toulouse lautrecs bodily sympathetic, simplistic style, a sharp break from the text-heavy posters of the day. Now, on to In Salon of Rue des Molins. Starting in the 1890s, Toulouse-Lautrec focuses on the distractions Paris has to offer. The theater, the circuses, the tracks, and also the brothels. He will draw numerous scenes of them. Except for two or three saucy paintings, Henry refuses to paint obscene, vulgar, or venile prostitutes like other painters used to do at that time. There he started to break off with character caricatures to get more naturalistic touch that is also more human. Realized in 1893, Au Salon shows uh, house number six of the Rue de Molins, uh, situated close to the Opera of Paris. The painter shows us the everyday life of these reclused women living after the rhythm of the off-peak hour idle impassive and immobile they are waiting for a client on the top right hand side one of them seems to be going through the humiliating ritual of a medical checkup attracted by the cozy ambiance of this place accentuated by comfort uh, uh, looking purple divans the spectator is near to the scenario on the same height as them that enables him to see even the lines in their faces that Lettrec did with an unusual precision for a pro portrait of prostitutes but even though all that they revealed about the individual character the fa faces do not contribute anyhow to the empty atmosphere of the salon the silence of these women, the reddish hair, their lifelessness, and passive looks turn them uniform, like if they had resigned to the fatality of their conditions. As a regular customer, toulouse lautrec was familiar with this kind of establishment. It is not impossible that he felt some affection for these women. However, he is not showing them as victims here. On the third and last painting, we will be looking at Le Toilette, as no, also known as Rousset, is uh, an 1899 
painting that Lautrec did. The painting depicts a red-headed woman stripped to the waist, seated on the floor, facing away from the viewer, just before or just after bathing. The painting depicts domestic scene of a woman sitting on a plain towel or sheet over a dark rug on a bare uh, floorboards. She is largely undressed with bare back, arms, and head, hair tied back, and bare right thigh visible. A swathe of plain fabric is wrapped around her waist with a black boot or stocking on her right lower leg. Other clothing is draped over a chair to the left. It employs a light color palette, predominantly blues with yellowish greens and red for the women's hair. Thinned with turpentine to create a loose effect, the impressionist image similar to a work in pastels or a sketch with an elevated viewpoint shows some influence from similar works by Edgar Degas, including those exhibited in the 8th and last Impressionist exhibition in Paris in 1886.